I was always a very creative child and I always wanted to get into the fashion industry around about 15 years old and I got into hairdressing instead. So I really suppressed my creative side until I was 42. And then I would start painting maybe a couple of uh, paintings of women. They were very fashion illustration, sort of along those lines. And then one day I picked up the camera and I started photographing women and styling them. I found that with photography that I could capture multiple images and multiple looks. I would say that my favorite um, photo shoot was uh, one of my first photo shoots. The first time I captured Anne Duffy, who is incredible. She's an art nude model, but I used to always dress her. So I would create these amazing gowns. And the first time I ever photographed her was the first time I um, had elevated a subject and sculpted fabrics around her. And really that photo shoot, I think, defined my style. That's where I kind of clicked and thought, hey, that is exactly what I'm, the, the sort of like the area I'm, I want to be in. I love portraiture because I feel that it captures the essence of who somebody is. And with my photography, I like to capture something feminine, elegant, something that portrays women in a beautiful way. Well, when I was 15 and I, this whole fashion aspect to what I used to do, the fashion designing, which I never got to do, I now can uh, express myself in that way and create beautiful, unique gowns and a very avant-garde uh, look in my styling. I'm a very spontaneous creative, so when I um, am doing a photo shoot, I have all the elements in front of me and then I will go and jigsaw puzzle everything together. So I could create uh, two, three gowns on the spot and uh, put everything together, it all comes together in the end. I want to show people how to be free with their creativity, to push the styling boundaries, to create on the spot uh, wearable art and how to give your portraiture a real fashion sense.